welcome to this mama's house today i'm sharing with you my boys room tour Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tabitha. I am a wife and homeschool mom to five awesome kids. I'm currently pregnant with baby number six. And today I wanted to share with you a shared room tour for my three boys. We don't yet know the gender of the baby that I'm pregnant with, but if it's a boy, he will fit right in this room. And if it's a girl, he will go across the hall to my girl's room. So we are a large family of seven, almost eight people, and we live in a regular size, maybe even considered small house. We have 1,400 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. We do have an unfinished basement, which serves its purpose for lots of storage and a nice sized playroom for my kids. So in their bedrooms, they pretty much just sleep read and store their clothes. We don't have any toys in here, only books and stuffed animals, and then their closet has their clothes in it. But I wanted to share this with you in hopes to inspire other moms that maybe have children sharing a bedroom. This room is really quite small. I remember when we came to look at this house to purchase it, I was thinking to myself, wow, these rooms are tiny, um, but we've made it work and the kids really enjoy sharing a room together and they love their bedroom. Let me give you a tour of what we've got going on in here. So the kids decided on a mountain themed room, which I thought was so fun. We took a long RV trip in 2019 and we visited several different mountain ranges we were in the Appalachian Mountains and the Rocky Mountains and the kids loved the Rocky Mountains. They just fell in love with hiking and the scenery and nature. So they wanted to go for a mountain room. So I painted a mural on their wall and they chose the blue color. It's kind of like an ombre mural. It starts off light blue, gets a little bit darker and then the bottom is another dark color. But what I did is I just bought a light and a dark blue paint that we liked and then I mixed them to do the middle color. So I didn't actually have to buy three colors of paint. So that's a little trick if you like this. I was thinking of someday maybe adding some forest trees or something, but let's face it, mama doesn't got time to do that. And it looks good the way it is to be quite honest. So the bunk beds that they have are from Walmart. You will not see luxury pottery barn Pinterest perfect furniture for my kids bedrooms. My kids act like kids and we tend to um, be really rough with our stuff to put it lightly and I didn't want to spend the money on a really really nice bed only to have it colored on or thousands of stickers put all over it or it basically broke in half because it's all fair game in this house. So we went with these Junior Lofts from Walmart. They are awesome. I really, really am pleased with them. And my daughters have the same beds as well. The boys have the black. And then the younger kid is just the baby. He doesn't sleep in his bed very often. He still sleeps with mommy. But occasionally he will nap in here and he just has his mattress right on the floor under his big brother. On the side of their bunk bed, my sister-in-law gave me this idea. I thought it was such a good idea, but we just zip tied a little storage bin right to the side. So this is where they can store a notebook. We also have like a white board, like a little dry erase board for them to draw or color at night. And then at night they'll bring their water bottle in here so if they get thirsty they'll have it right next to them in their bed. We have a cube unit in between their beds and that is where we store all of their books. Not all of them, there's definitely more books downstairs but some of their favorite books are up here 
and underneath we have one empty cube unit which who knows if we'll end up filling it i kind of like having less stuff in here it's definitely easier to keep clean and then one basket we have just more stuffed animals in there for them under the other loft that does not have a bed under it which it might have a bed in the future we'll see if this baby is a boy that is where we'll put another twin mattress but for now it's kind of like a little reading nook there is a beanbag chair under there i have thought about maybe putting a couple little bookshelves under there but i feel like it would just clutter up this already really small space so we're just leaving it the way it is sometimes they like to play under there or they will hang blankets on their loft bed and make a little fort and they have a lot of fun that way so at the end of each boy's bed i have a little hamper that I got from Target and that is where they store some of their favorite stuffed animals. Stuffed animals is probably one of my kids favorite toys ever. They have so much fun playing with them and it's one of those things that's just really easy to clean up when they're done because they can just throw them all right back in the hamper. Each boy has their special blanket at the end of their bed and just a couple of stuffed animals that they like. I try to be careful with allowing them to have too many stuffed animals on the bed because it just gets crazy. And then speaking of beds, we have Betty's bed sets for every single one of my kids and we absolutely love these Betty's. So I am partnering with Betty's in today's video. They have a special discount code for you guys and a link in the description box for you to get a discount on these bed sets. What makes these bed sets so amazing is that you literally just zip it up in order to make it. So it makes making beds super simple for little ones to do and it just keeps their beds looking a lot more tidy especially having bunk beds or these loft beds it's really hard to tuck everything in and make a bunk bed look neat but that is not the case with Betty's. you literally just zip it up and you are done i thought maybe that it would be uncomfortable having the zipper but there's actually a little flap that is like the built-in sheet and it covers up the zipper so it's not touching their skin at night at all and the kids sleep great with them. So there's a couple different choices. You can get all cotton sheets or you can get the minky fabric, which we live in Michigan so it does get colder here. So I wanted something a little bit extra for warmth and I'm really glad we went with the minky. It feels so soft and it's really been a lifesaver for keeping their room looking nice. So if you've ever been looking into getting Betty's or this is the first time you've heard of them, definitely check that link in the description so you can check it out and get them for your kids. And honestly, I'm thinking about getting them for my bed. They have a really pretty white set. They even have king size and I'm thinking about getting them for me and my husband because it would just be so nice to be able to zip it up and be done with it. My two big boys have a special mountain shelf at the end of their bed and that is where they keep some of their things from church, some of their religious items that they've received for First Communion or different special things like their baptism. So they have those items there along with their rosaries and um, special medals hanging. And then the four prints that I have of the mountain scene that's right behind me, I got those off of Amazon and then I also ordered the frames themselves from Amazon as well. So that was a pretty inexpensive find and I think it looks really pretty, especially having, well, we should say handsome, right? It looks really cute, we'll say and the blue mountains in the photos ties everything in with the mural on the wall and then their dark blue bedding. Another thing that I have, probably my favorite piece in this bedroom is the wooden custom made sign that I had done from my friend Angela. She has an amazing Etsy shop and she is the one that made this for me. I told her what I was wanting and like what I envisioned and she made it 
even better than I anticipated that it would turn out. So they have a quote on their wall that says verso la alto and that is Latin for towards the top. A famous Catholic priest who was a mountaineer is the one who is responsible for that quote and the way that we look at it in our family is to always strive to be better, always work toward God. Set your sights on the Lord and all of your life will fall into place. So we love that quote. And then of course under it we have a really cool mountain range as well. One thing that I haven't gotten around to hanging in this room, and I'm not sure that I will, maybe, I think maybe I should because every once in a while it falls over and bangs somebody in the head, but it's this custom ruler that I made to measure the kids' height. Now I made this when my oldest son was still in utero. I made his whole nursery. Some of you guys might have been around back then when I made his nursery. Um, I loved that nursery. But anyways, I made the custom ruler for that room and I put it behind the door in here and eventually, maybe I'll get my husband to do it, I just want it to be hung up on the wall. We haven't been using it much because it's not hung up, um, but that would be cool to have. But I love it anyways and I definitely wanted to keep it and we'll never get rid of it. This is something that I'll take with me to every single house. So the last thing that's on the wall here in the room is a really cool poster that I had printed of a special place we went in Colorado when we all fell in love with the mountains. So I have that map printed and hung right here by the door. So now I will take you into their closet so you can see how I store all of their clothes and things like that. So their closet is locked. We're dealing with a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old, and if I don't lock the closet, they will change multiple times a day, or they'll simply pull everything out of the drawers and throw them on the floor. So to avoid that, I just have a little baby safety lock. Sometimes they push something over and they can get it unlocked themselves, but most of the time they come and ask, so I appreciate that. So here is their closet. Once again, we're working with a somewhat small space for three people to store their things. But I will start at the top. So each boy has two bins. It's kind of dark back there, but they have a bin for some stuff. I literally labeled it stuff. And then they have a bin for shoes. So each boy has that, shoes and stuff shoes and stuff and then this little middle bin here has some of my like essential oils and room spray that I like to use with them at night to help calm them down and stuff I just have that right there and then we have some of their nicer items hung up so we do dress them up every single week when we go to church and I just love dressing them up for family photos or outings with dad so I do have some nicer fancier clothes they're not hung the nicest, but that's what happens when the six-year-old hangs his own stuff. We're learning. But I usually shop, just like a little side note, I will shop for their nice clothes at Once Upon a Child because it's so inexpensive. I think this was like five or eight dollars and it's a really nice jacket for a little boy. And that's where I get a lot of their ties and suspenders too. So, little mom hack for you. So we have the oldest, the youngest and then the f uh, we have a six-year-old one-year-old and four-year-old and that's where they keep their stuff now moving down a little bit these are their laundry baskets so they each have a laundry basket and they each have a day of the week that their laundry gets done so i like to keep it separated because it just makes the whole process way simpler and then we have these rubbermaid storage drawers I will link them down below, but I have just found that these are so simple for kids. Like I said, I didn't want to get a nice dresser only to have it ruined. So we went these with these plastic drawers, but they each have a drawer for underwear and socks, summer clothes, winter clothes, and 
pajamas. So we live in Michigan, so we oftentimes keep a little bit of summer clothes and a little bit of winter clothes out all the time just because you never know what the weather is going to be. But then the very top drawer is, they all kind of share it. So I have one for ties and suspenders, one for bathing suits, and one for hats. So that is their dresser situation. And then over here, I used to have hooks here that were just up on the wall with a command hook. And that was where they would store their backpack and whatever coat or jacket they were using at the time. But like I said, I've got three rough boys and the command hook did not last. It got tore down pretty quickly. So I might get another hook. I mean, you can't even really see back there because it's dark. But I might get another hook back there someday that's like actually screwed in. But we'll see. So that is their closet situation. All right, that is my boys' room tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Maybe it gave you some ideas on how to have a shared space, a shared small space. Like I said, this room is really tiny, but we've made it work for three boys, and there's a possibility that it could be four boys in here. Although I'm not sure how I would do the closet. I would definitely have to get creative if this tiny little baby turns out to be a boy. So we'll see about that. But thanks so much for following along. Check the link in the description for the Betty's discount and any of the other things that you might have seen in here. I will try my best to link below. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh.